Hey YouTube, this is Firewizard23. Let's play Pirates Plunder. <clears throat> uh, this game I have on one of my uh, game CDs that I've had for quite a while. I'm pretty sure you can probably download this somewhere on the net. Uh, so uh, let's begin the game. Okay, so here's the idea. You are Captain Niv Nevero. You're some captain. Uh, the idea is you're trying to find these ten sacred treasures down here that are located somewhere on this map. Uh, here's your little ship. I forget what it's called. I want to say the Odyssey, I believe. And you move around one square for every tile you want to move. So you click and you move to that tile. Uh, along the way, you can encounter traps, traps and monsters, uh, things that will help you find the other treasures and the treasures themselves. Oh yeah, you're the Odyssey. You have 100 hit points. You can go to any of these islands once at any time if you move to them and you can recover a little bit of hit points, and you also get one of each of these types of weapons. Uh, your weapons are a sword, which can just do a little bit of damage, cannon fire, axes, flaming arrows, uh, what do you call that, a, um, harpoon, and ice daggers. And there's also the enemy's hit points will appear here when I run into enemies. So, uh, let's see if we can find the ten treasures. Oh, I'm Captain Nivaro, and I found nothing. Oh! Now that map will tell me where the nearest treasure is, and that's actually really good to know, because it kind of works like in a square progression, like it checks like the first set of squares around me, and then the next set, then the next set. So this actually tells me a lot of the treasures are not where I am right now. So, let's see if we can get there rather quick. Ow! That hurt. Oh, sextant. And with a 2x2 two two distance, it's going to tell me all the squares that have problems. Got the necklace. Get a little heal up. Okay, and you can always move on the squares you've already checked. I don't... Oh! Got a Royal Scepter, good. Small voice. Oh! Seaweed! Seaweed is weak to the axe. If they're weak to it, they'll take like 30 some odd damage. If they're not, they're gonna take like 15 some odd damage. I'm gonna get a little victory tune. Now there's lots of monsters. Don't think that just cause... I haven't run into monsters, there aren't monsters. Oh, spyglass. Okay, this I can use wherever I want to use it. Let's use it right here. Okay, nothing but monsters there, so... Now that map, I realize, could actually kind of be a curse, because there could actually be items that could help me in here, but I might not go there just because of what it told me. Oh no, it took the necklace away! So the necklace is somewhere in an undiscovered square. Square. Oh, we got the golden sword of Yur. The Sacred Onyx Cross. Oh. oh! Murphy's Chest of Gold. Good. Oh! A pirate ship! Best thing to use is the cannon. Nice. Heal up. Oh! Seaweed Monster! Chop! Oh, gotcha. I used to play this game all the time. I can't believe I haven't played it in forever. Ghost ship, you want to use flaming arrows. Only got a little bit of hit points left. Go ahead and use your sword. There you go. Oh, got the ruby ring of power. By the way, these treasures don't actually do anything. They're just there. I just realized, I hope everyone can actually see my cursor in this game. Okay, we have a phoenix, so we want to use the ice daggers. Zip myself back up here with perfect control precision and grab that. I don't think I can use the arrow keys. Nope. Yeah, it just occurred to me, I wonder if anyone can actually see my anchor cursor. That's my mouse right now, because I have the mouse thing turned off. I hope you can see it. Basically, I'm just... If you can't see it right now, I'm using it to click on the screen where I want to move. You can't actually use... You cannot use the arrow keys in this game. Oh. We got the Emerald of Hope. More repairs to the Odyssey. Four treasures left. Ah! Pirate ship! Blow you away! Oh! Treasure map. Wow, that was useful. Oh, we got the Lost Pearl of Jiva. <gasps> Octopus! Oh, 
giant squid. Gotta use the harpoon. And there's, like, stuff in the help section you can, that'll help you with what you should use against what monster. Harpoon! Okay, that's the last healing in the whole game. Well, actually, there is tar you can run into in the game that will heal you. So, oh, treasure map. There's another one. Queen Latha's crown. We're missing the silver chalice of Unge and Queen Latha's necklace. Seaweed! Chop! Chop! There we go. Uh-oh! Pirate ship! Oh, ghost ship! Flaming arrows! Ugh. Oh, see? That heals. See, that heals the Odyssey. Oh, there's a chalice. If I can just find the necklace. Pirate ship! I need a... You know what I, what I need is a spyglass. There's a sextant. Those things are bad, so actually all the other squares are okay. Oh, tar. Good. Pirate ship! Where's the necklace? That's bad within two squares. Nope. Pirate ship! See, now I'm running out of weapons. Throw some flaming arrows. Ice daggers! <gasps> Seaweed monster! <clears throat> Die! <sighs> oh, there goes Flynn's Royal Scepter. Oh. That's the nearest treasure? Whoa! Means the necklace has to be around here. Seaweed monster! Oh no! Flaming arrows! Can I find the necklace? No! Oh, it was right above me! No! Not fair. There's the the uh, scopes I was looking for. No! Let's try again. I got time, let's do this again. Oh, there's a map. Oh, there's a treasure. Alright, we got a treasure. Alright. The Phoenix, we use some ice daggers. Uh, well, let's use an axe. Cannon. And a sword. Heal up a little bit. Ugh. Seaweed monster! Chop! Healing. Sextant. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna forget all this information that it's giving me. Oh, uh, squid! That's one of the tiles it told me not to go to. It's tough to remember this stuff. Seaweed monster. Top. And if I haven't, if I haven't made it clear, you cannot run from these battles. You have to conclude it. Ugh. Nice. Squid. Use a harpoon. Nice. Ah, uh, squid, chop him! Oh no, seaweed! <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> chop him with a sword, okay. Off we go. Oh, a map? Oh, I just missed it, it's right there. <laughs> Grab the crown. Squid! Oh no, I don't have a weapon, no! <laughs> Ice daggers! <laughs> doing poorly here. Come on. No! Pirate ship! Okay. Heals the ship, no. 
Nice. Oh, got the pearl. Nice. Go ship. Fire arrows. Jump. Oh, got a map. All right, found a treasure. A ghost ship. Use the flaming arrows. And the cannon. And ice daggers. Grab a little healing. Squid. Harpoon. <laughs> Ah, seaweed! Chop! Well, I'm not doing well here. Go up a little bit. Sacred Onyx Cross. Spyglass! Nothing there but a monster. <laughs> oh, there goes a booby ring. Ow! Iceberg. There's the nearest treasure. Sort of your Whoa. Slowly zip around. I'm gonna grab the chalice. Uh, Phoenix! Ice daggers! Past him! Ooh. And by the way, please don't ask where you can get this game. I mean, just do a search for Pirates Plunder download, and you should probably find it. This is just an unregistered version. I don't believe the registered version would have anything else. Ah! No! No! Wow, I did so poorly. Well, I'm sorry not to show you a, a dramatic ending, but... That's it for Let's Play Pirates Plunder. Hope you've enjoyed. Take care and bye-bye for now.